and get them dialed in on, on whatever your conditions are. You know, you got sunny day, you got cloudy day. Is the water staying? How cold is it? Look at there. There's a fish right there. It can be as simple as you want it to be. What's up, brother? What's up guys and thanks for tuning in to Vitamin D TV, I'm Vitamin D and today we're going to be fishing the ICW, the Intercoastal Waterway. I got my man Doug with me from Rougarou Fishing and we're going to be taking the kayaks out. I told you guys we were going to be on some hot drops and today is the day that we put in here in the ICW and see if we can't get on some redfish or speckled trout. We're mainly going to be targeting speckled trout, the big ones. My man Doug's got the tips and tricks, he's going to show me how and I'm going to take you guys with us. So if you got a second, grab a seat, something to drink, and let's go fishing. That's why I got that bright colored Meridine. I got like a hot pink and a chartreuse tail uh, porky. All right, guys, another day on the water in the kayak super excited i know we're gonna get on the fish the speckled trout have been slowly showing up showing their faces and i can't wait to get on some of those big ones hopefully my man doug can put us on them he knows the spots and uh i'm excited to get hooked up well the conditions are uh the wind's about 15 miles per hour coming out of the northeast uh it's about 48 degrees right now and as you can see it is overcast skies one of those nasty winter days the sun will not show its face today probably but we're excited to be out here and i'm glad to have you guys with me so let's see if we can't get on some fish let's go all right guys so i stopped at outcast bait and tackle and i got this small miradine right here they didn't have the color that i wanted but this guy should do the trick it's nice and bright and we got a little bit stained to the water uh and we got these low light conditions with these overcast skies so you want to fish something bright or really dark in dark stained conditions so so hopefully they can see this guy and it brings them right to it i think i'm gonna go ahead and start i want to cast at this point right here where this water's coming around all right guys so we're going to start with some slow sinking twitch baits miradine and i just want to go ahead and start because first of all i'm excited oh my goodness got to dial that reel in oh and here comes a boat as soon as i start fishing all right guys we're going to be using our dial with tatula again today so it's kind of my go-to and in this uh inshore type stuff that we're doing right now uh it really helps me with accuracy as far as casting goes and i just like the feel of the reel and the rod in my hand uh just allows me to control that bait the way that I like to. Um, it's not for everybody, but I do like using them. So we got this uh, slow seeking twitch bait by Miradine. Basically that guy sinks really slow and then you just give him a pop every now and then. And uh, it looks like a dying minnow falling and dying in the water. And that bait, that fish will see that bait and he'll just come and devour him. So. All we gotta do is find them. So coming in here allows us to get out of that wind. Like I said, it's blowing at 15 miles per hour. Coming into this channel right here allows us to uh, be protected by all these houses and whatnot. So hopefully we can find them. I just sent that bait soaring. 
I think we did good as far as color choice on this bait. If we can find the fish, I guarantee you they're gonna like this color. We got Doug with the first blood of the day getting the monkey off the back. Just a, just a tiny guy, but hey, now we know they're in here, so. All we gotta do is find the big ones. Let's go. Did he hit it on the paws? There he is. This guy. Smaller. This guy, back to back hookups. He's got this little jerk bait on that he's using and uh, apparently it's working. Yeah, let me see if they'll eat this. I'll give it a few casts and uh, we'll see what happens. There's a fish. Feels a little better. Not a bad one. There we go. First fish in the boat. I had to turn the action up on it, dude. Giving it harder pops than I was. I thought they were gonna like it slow. All right, guys, just, just wet my hands. There we go, first speckled trout of the day. He's about a 15, 15 and a half fish, and uh, I'm glad to catch him. Let's get him back. Yeah. All right, so I was throwing that bait and I was working it slow ever since we got here. I thought that's what they were gonna want. And he's on on his uh, live shrimp out the back. He had a live shrimp out the back. Let's see what he's got. Things turning on for us. Moving or no? Oh, he's just hung up. All right, guys. Got our first one in the boat, just casting right up here. And I was doing a really subtle twitch, but I switched it up and started going with a harder kind of pop, just making that thing really like knock in the water. And that guy came up and got it. So I got a little aggressive on the twitch, let it sink slow, and then just start popping it a little bit more aggressive. Sometimes you gotta make those fish mad in order to get them to eat. Make them feel like they can't catch it. And then they do, look at that, just like that. <laughs> Another fish. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta make them think they can't catch it and then they'll come and, they'll come and chase it. Fish number two guys, a little guy. He's about eight or 10 inches. Let's get him back. And after that little guy, we're gonna retie because they're starting to fray my line. I'm only using 10 pound test. All right, I think I got three fish in the boat. Three or four, I always lose count. Doug's back on. There's one. Oh, he came off. Yeah, he did. He came up and got it. Yeah, we found a school for sure. Oh, he's on there. I didn't even have to move it. I just casted it and I was just sitting there trying to push off of that dock. Oh, that's a better one too. There we go. There we go. Another about 15 inch speckled trout. Nice and healthy. A little slim, but we'll get to the size guys. Don't worry about that. Let's let him go. Thanks buddy. Hey, how'd they say when we played Where's Waldo? Found him. <laughs> Let's go. All right, guys, we're up to four or five speckled trout. I think we got the colors dialed in. 
There he is. Doug's on. Yeah, get fired up. You got charter boat captains bringing guys in here using popping corks. It doesn't take all that, guys. If you can just figure out what baits you need, what colors, and get them dialed in on, on whatever your conditions are. You know, you got sunny day, you got cloudy day. Is the water staying? How cold is it? Look at there. There's a fish right there. It can be as simple as you want it to be. You just got to know, have a little knowledge of the game. Another fish, little guy. A little bit better fish for Doug. Let's see what you got there. There you go. Got a little, little, little baby eating some little minnows in here. I can feel them in the stomach. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. I saw that little bait's working so well. Good one. If we can weed through the small ones, guys, I guarantee you, there's there's some big ones in here. Sometimes, I'm on already. Oh, he came off. That's insane, dude. They're stacked. So those fish, they started out over on this side in front of this wall here. But we started catching them and we started busting them up. And they started moving further into this canal on down this way. So we're just kind of following them and casting, making long casts to those fish. And we're not, we're not pressuring them too hard. He's on again, just like that. So... Those fish are hanging out about 20, 30 yards right in front of us, and we're just making long casts, and it's that easy. They're right there. There's a fish right there. There's a fish right there. Smaller guy. Another small one. He's on again, every cast. Ooh, he just swiped at it, dude. Followed it all the way to the boat, did their signature move. Speckled trout have a signature move where they'll swipe right at the boat and come get it. You might see me fishing doing smaller twitches like this, but I like to give big pops sometimes. Sometimes those fish like a really aggressive jerk. And so instead of a small twitch, I'll hype that bait up and give them a really big jerk. And it makes those fish think that they can't catch that bait. But then when you twitch, twitch, give a big twitch like that and then pause, they'll hit it on that pause. Sometimes the more sporadic that bait is, it triggers those fish to come and strike. There's one. Oh, he was just holding it. He was just holding it. Doug, back at it with the specs. Oh, thumped it. Oh, he thumped it. Like I said, they'll hit it right at the boat sometimes. Oh, there's a good one. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Ah, he's not that good. He's a little bit better, a little bit. There we go, a little feisty guy. Almost don't want me to hold him, but we'll get you back, buddy, don't worry. You guys hear that? That bait's got a little bitty rattle in it, so the more you twitch that bait, the more sound it's gonna put off. That's just more attractant. You know, you got the sound, you got the color, you got the shine, you got the action. And you got the sound. Did I say we got the sound? We got the sound. We got all our bases covered. Except for scent. We don't have scent on this bait. We're looking for size, guys. Looking for size. Oh, he came and got it. All right, guys. So we pushed to the back of that other canal. And uh, we must have pushed past all the fish. Or they swam under us and avoided us. But... Uh, we didn't get any more action back there, so we decided to come and hit another one of these canals over on the other side, and now we're just searching for fish again. I think it'll be a matter of time before we actually find them. 
and uh, get back on it. We're still going for that size. So y'all stay tuned and let's see what we can't do. All right, while I was swapping out batteries, Doug here just got on a nicer size trout. We're rolling up on a uh, little, gets narrow right here in this channel, right here coming up on the bridge. So we got a feeling that they might be stacked up here. He said he saw some bait flickering here earlier before we got here. So let's see if he's right. I like how we're stat we're staggered like this. There's no way around us. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, there's one. It's been a while. All right, guys, another small speckled trout. It's been a while since we got on one, but we're still catching them. Uh, still looking for that size. Let's get him back. Relax, buddy, relax, relax. All right, there he goes. Whew. Ooh, came and got it right there. <laughs> Another beautiful speckled trout, guys. Probably gonna be one of the last ones we catch. We're making our way back. And there's that guy. And there he goes. Guys, that's gonna do it for us on today's trip i hope you guys enjoyed it and i hope you learned something if you guys get a chance go and check out doug's channel over at rugaroo fishing i'll leave it in the description below we got out we got on a pretty hot speckled trout bite and unfortunately we weren't able to get on anything of any substantial size so i feel like those bigger speckled trout are going to move in as these cold fronts move their way through northwest florida and uh, hopefully we can get on them but I appreciate you guys coming along. Thanks for sticking with me through all the journeys, the ups, the downs. Hey, you guys are family to me. I say it all the time. Well, I'm not going to hold you guys up any longer. I appreciate each and every one of you. And if you haven't already, be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you in that next one. I'm Vitamin D for Vitamin D TV, and I'm out. Peace.